The most famous texts in the world come from religion, the perspectives of those trying to do good and teaching others how to follow a noble path. There are also other books, however, from the other perspective, focusing on the dark arts and enlightening the reader about an alternative way. Such works aren't for the fate of heart and often go against all that seems moral and just in the world. Prepare yourself for a journey into the underworld as we take a look at five of the scariest books to have been written by the devil. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. The Grand Grimoire The Grand Grimoire, which is often called the Gospel of Satan, is a medieval book that's thought to have been written in the 16th century. Its supposed author was Honorus of Thebes, who at the time of writing it was said to have been possessed by the devil and is one of the most powerful occult books to have ever been created. According to legend, the Grand Grimoire was recovered from the tomb of Solomon in 1750 and was written in either Biblical Hebrew or Aramaic. Split into two separate parts, the first details how to summon demons and how to create objects with which to control them, while the second instructs practitioners on how to form packs with the demons so implements of control aren't needed and contains a number of spells and rituals that can be performed to increase a demon's power. Not only does the book teach how to summon the three higher demons, Lucifer, Beelzebub and Astaroth, but also six of the lower and lesser known demons as well. With their assistance, spells for destruction, love, invisibility and the ability to talk to the dead are possible but at great risk to the person enacting them. In 18th century France, there was a fascination with works like this and so it was replicated and sold to the masses under the name Le Dragon Rouge. This version and the translation is still used today in rituals in some countries that were part of the French Empire at the time, such as Haiti. As for the original Grand Grimoire, it's now believed to be kept in the secret archives of the Vatican, thought to be too powerful if it falls into the wrong hands and containing dangerous information about the corruption of popes and how the devil takes control of them. It's unlikely it'll ever see the light of day again. Now it's time for the star topic. With the five books we'll be talking about today, they're all books we've been able to research in order to get a good idea of what to talk to you about. But this one is a little trickier to explain, which is why we've pulled it aside at the start topic. It's also worth noting that this one is only something of a rumor, meaning it may not be as legitimate as the others. The image you're seeing on the left is the apparent cover of an infamously demonic spell book. The image you're seeing on the right is an apparent page within the book. But does it exist? We don't know for sure. All we know is that somebody on Reddit said they found these two images coupled together on the deep web where, apparently, the poster was claiming they were the cover and inner page of a book called The Cochlan Tome. According to him, it's an ancient British spell book that has been missing since the 1200s and he found it hidden in a university library. In researching, we couldn't find anything about The Cochlan Tome, only The Cochlan Witch. But maybe this book has something to do with The Cochlan Witch. I don't know. Maybe the guy on the deep web was lying or maybe the guy on Reddit was lying. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag StarTopic and we will pin the comment that best explains what is being shown on this image. With that said, let's keep this thing moving. Number 4. The Necromancer's Manual The Bavarian State Library in Munich, Germany is one of the largest and most important libraries in Europe. It has copies of every book ever published in Germany along with many more and among these 10.36 million manuscripts there are some that have long been forgotten or dismissed. One in particular has recently made a comeback however and it's called the Munich Manual of Demonic Manuals or more commonly the Necromancer's Manual. Written in Latin during the 15th century it was written by a German magician who is thought to have been a priest or a cleric under the influence of the devil. As the title would suggest, it deals with themes of necromancy which involves magic that communicates and interacts with the dead and also demonology which relates to the study, understanding and control of demons. The grimoire contains detailed instructions about how to communicate with spirits, how to raise demons and how to conjure black magic. There are for example spells that create illusions to make others see things that aren't there spells of the mind that can make people love, hate 
or become subservient and spells of divination to draw information from either the past or the future. It also goes into great detail about mythological creatures and the need to sacrifice them to harness the full power of their magic and rejects the ideas of good angels, instead depicting them as demonic creatures that possess people and need to be exercised. This manual is essentially everything a budding dark magician in the 15th century would have needed to begin down an evil path of discovery and potentially result in summoning the devil himself. The step-by-step -step instructions teach how to create anything from protective mirrors and destructive staffs to manipulative potions, curses and amulets to control demons. Number 3. The Picatrix The Picatrix is one of the oldest known surviving occult magic and astrology books and is thought to have originated in the 10th or 11th century. Written in Arabic, its 400 pages cover spells to satisfy all desires and some of them are surprisingly obscene. The book's original title was Gayat al-Hakim which translates to The Goal of the Wise and after being translated into Spanish and Latin in the 13th century, it went on to become an essential text for all followers of dark magic. The grimoire contains four sections that cover astronomy and magic. It goes into great detail about the planets and the stars, how things in the universe are ordered, the spirits of the planets, magic spells and the tools and equipment needed to effectively cast them. The writer saw the planets as spirits and integral to the mystical workings of life, which is why both subjects are covered in the Picatrix. Spells that can be found in the tome include how to attain the love of another person, discover treasure, achieve wealth, heal sickness and increase the yield of crops, as well as the opposites to inflict damage upon others. What's made the Picatrix particularly controversial beyond the potential misuse of the magic it contains are the recipes that the spells require. They're designed to help the user reach a different state of consciousness and along with the use of potent substances like hashish, opium and psychoactive plants, it also demands the use of all types of bodily fluids, excretions and even pieces of brain. One recipe for example calls for blood from a black dog, pig blood and brains and donkey brains. You then blend it all together until it's smooth and then give it to someone in either food or drink. The book then says the person you give it to will hate you forever. Of course, this might not actually have anything to do with magic and simply be an expected reaction from someone who realizes what you've just convinced them to swallow. Number 2. The Book of Soiga The Book of Soiga dates from the 16th century, also known as Aldaria. It was written in Latin and goes into great detail about the workings of magic. It has a mysterious past with only two original copies known to exist. One was owned by John Dee, a famous occultist who was part of Elizabeth I's court and following his death in 1608, it disappeared until it was refound in 1994. The peculiar thing about this book is that despite being written in Latin, it wasn't as easy to translate as it should have been. John Dee isn't ever thought to have found a way to understand what was written and scholars today are struggling to fully comprehend what it's about. This is because it uses a type of alphabet that's unique to it. There are suggestions that it could be a form of Hebrew with additional symbols and was clearly written in code. By translating the Latin parts, it's clear that this book tackles the subjects of Renaissance magic, angels and demons and comprises of 36 sections. One of these tables contains information about the four basic elements, earth, air, wind and fire, while another focuses on the medieval humors that were core beliefs in medicine, blood, phlegm, red bile and black bile. Where things get really interesting though is in book 26 which is about understanding universal evils. There are spells for summoning demons, manipulating people's behavior and for gaining immeasurable wealth and there are details of all of the angels both good and bad and much much more. Still to this day much of the book remains undeciphered so it could contain far more than we currently realize. John D back in the 16th century apparently had some success with one of the spells to contact an angel though. According to documents from the time, he contacted the angel Uriel who told him that the book referred to the time before time and spoke of the time when Adam lived before the creation of Eve. He was then told that only the archangel Michael could fully understand the text though, which many people believe could be a sign that it was written by the devil. Michael was God's way of combating evil and sickness and to be able to do so, he needed to be able to understand and communicate with evil. 
Number one, the Codex Gigas. The Codex Gigas is renowned for many reasons, but with it also being known as the Devil's Bible, it could potentially be the most dangerous and scary book ever written. Created at some point in the 13th century in the Podlicized Monastery in what is now the Czech Republic, it first became known to the wider world in July of 1648 when, during the final thralls of the Thirty Years' War, Swedish troops took everything of value that they could from the city of Prague. This codex was one of the most significant things that they took and it would have been quite an effort. It's 36 by 20 inches and 8.7 inches thick which is absolutely enormous for a book. It originally had 320 pages made from the skin of 160 donkeys but 10 of these have since been ripped out with suggestions that the contents were too inflammatory even for a work like this. At first, it seems like a historical record. It contains, for example, the complete version of the Christian Bible, as well as a book on war antiquities, an encyclopedia, and a number of texts on various topics, including medical techniques and exorcisms. The biggest surprise, though, is on a page later in the book which features a full-size image of the devil. While imagery of this subject matter wasn't unusual at the time, this stands out because instead of being a part of a wider scene, the devil is the only image on the page and is 19 inches tall. Crouching down and forwards, all he is wearing is an ermine loincloth which is seen as declaring him to be royalty, specifically the Prince of Darkness. The presence of this image has led to various theories about what the purpose of the book was and who created it. For a book this size, most estimates suggest it would have taken a dedicated scribe about 30 years to complete. But what if there was another way? One theory is that it was written by a monk called Herman the Recluse who made a trade with the devil. He had broken his vows and as a punishment was sentenced to be bricked up behind a wall. In an attempt to avoid this fate, he promised to make a book that contained all of human knowledge and therefore bring glory to the monastery for as long as it stood. He realized as time passed that it would be impossible to finish so in return for enabling him to complete his task in one night, he pledged to give his soul to Lucifer. While it's impossible to verify the story, interestingly, the codex ends with the details from the year 1229 and the monastery itself was burned to the ground less than 200 years later. Would you ever dare read a book that had been written by the devil and if you did, would you try and cast any of the spells that it contains? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.